Big rain make me big wet. I don't go in big rain. No go. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Brandon Johnson from Used Boats TV. Today, I'm going to take you for a ride before the storm in a 2007 Chaparral 276 SSX Bow Rider. I sell a lot of boats sight unseen, and when I do that, this is what I do. I take you for a ride with me on the water. With the storm coming in, it took us a little while to make this video, so I came up with a few fun things we could do to wait for the storm. You can always speak in a Romanian accent. Why you do this? No take video. You can also talk about conspiracy theories in a Romanian accent. What do you think about Antarctica? Antarctica? Cool. cool. Hey Brayden, what do you think about aliens? Aliens, they scream and scary. Holy crap, look at this. <laughs> Let's get on the water. I'm gonna cut this up. What it really means to live life golden. Okay, always remember, your boat has to be in the water to run or you'll burn the engine up. Once you got your boat in the water, first thing you do is you come back here the walk through transom turn your battery switches to all your house battery system and your engine battery if you ever go to start it and you get the old click 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 you can switch on the parallel and that will take the house battery and the engine battery battery and fire it right up right here you have an external hookup if your batteries were to go dead so you can apply power and raise the power engine hatch but once your plugs in the water battery switches are on your boats in the water come up to the helm and in order to save time, I'm going to include some links in the description of this video down below that will explain some stuff like what to do when your boat won't start, how to operate tilt and trim, but this bad boy is direct injected, multi-port injected amazingness. So to start it, you just turn the key, fires right up. Okay, you got tilt steering, come over here, zoom in right here so you can set this wherever you want it. And yes, I did cut my fingernails for the making of this video. So shifting is really smooth. There's a trigger underneath the handle, goes right into forward. There's a definitive catch for forward, neutral, reverse, there's a definitive catch. It's a definitive catch because the dual prop's extremely easy to maneuver, okay? So when you're docking, you just want to be at idle speed, but your throttle range is beyond that. You only lift up on the lever when you're engaging into gear. <coughs> As you accelerate, I've had a lot of customers that are excited to drive, as they accelerate, they have the finger on the trim up button and the out drive comes up and out of the water. That's no good at all. Drive has to be down. You can see what happens as the drive comes up. Now, we've experienced some crazy weather we're in between rainstorms right now you have a trim gauge right here that shows you where that needle is for the out drive going up see going up going down this is a four-in-one gauge declutter your dash volt engine tim oil pressure fuel tank tachometer speedometer depth finder gps okay now let's run through the buttons and switches real quick Stereo remote control, which we'll play with when we get the boat out of the water. Uh, we won't ever play with that. Blower ventilates the engine compartment. Horn, can you hear that? Place to plug in some phone chargers. Ignition switch. Windshield wiper. Those are made for a splash, not a rainstorm. Navigation lights. That's driving at night. That's the red and green up front. And the white light built in, and the middle's off, down, anchor light stopped enough. Right, these do light up in red. Arch lights, you hit one time up, one time down, up again, because they're LEDs, so they have to warm up. So again, up once, down, up again. And they work. Docking lights are the headlights up front. We'll show those when we get it out. Cruise 
Courtesy lights are right here. <laughs> Those are the lights in the floor. Somewhere, maybe. Oh, look, they're blue LEDs. How sweet is that? How sweet it is to be loved by you. Right there. We'll shut those off. Depth finder, we already explained that. This does not have captain's call exhaust, but it's got a button whether it does or not. Let's go ahead and raise that engine hatch. Take a look at that real quick. So this has the 8.1, 375 horsepower Volvo. We put brand new batteries in the boat. We got the fire suppression system back there. As you can see, the motor is running right now. Everything looks good, sounds good. Nice and clean oil. It's not mixing or anything like that. Oh Lord. Yeah, Braden was showing me the storm still coming. Look over there. So we'll lower that hatch again. Keep going with our buttons and switches. Water pressure. We never mess with these because the water smells like sewage, but you'll turn that on and then that'll, it'll gurgle up pressure to your fittings, okay? Aft bilge is the bilge pump. That's automatic, so you'll probably never use it. Engineer light, self-explanatory, accessory, God knows. Most likely, that's the underwater lights in the back of the platform. We'll play with that when we get out on the trailer. Trim tabs are right here, okay? And they have indicators. We'll play with those while we're driving. And this is a dimmer for the lights on the dash. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the camera from Braden and I'm gonna drive the boat full speed trim down so we can see what our top speed is, okay? Once we've hit our top speed trim down, I'm gonna trim up. Be sure to refer to that video down in the description that explains how tilt and trim works uh, so we can see what our true top speed is. Then we're gonna turn it around a little bit, put it back on the trailer, run through the condition. Let's get started. Oh yeah. Okay, so this bad boy is powered by an 8.1 Volvo. We already looked at the motor and it's pushed by a set of F5 dual propellers. So once again, we shifted it right here, lift up on the lever. We're trimmed all the way down. See our needle right there. Let's get her going nice and straight. You always want to listen. When you're test driving a boat, by the way, you always want to turn it sharp at idle. And if you hear any kind of chatter, almost like a garbage disposal running dry, you need to question the U-joints, the gimbal ring, and gimbal bearing. This thing sounds amazing. All right, so you're her going straight. Now, with all this rain, we have a lot of crap in the water, so sometimes our speedo will get clogged. We have this right here. Did you notice that the speedo was working? When you drove it? Yeah, it was. Okay, good. Scratch that. All right, let's go. So this is a, you know, 29 foot boat, nine feet wide. But I want you to watch as I slowly accelerate, how smooth it planes. Nose kick right down. slow down, see kind of a comfortable cruise. In this model, it's usually right around 30 miles an hour, 35, something like that. See how we're just staying on plane and plugging along. But let's go ahead and run it. Push it down, full throttle. Put my big belly on the helm here. So there's, it's a little behind, not by much, 42 mile an hour. Trim up. One, two, get up on top of the water. You can see the boat releasing. Three, that definitely jumped. Four, five, six, 44 miles an hour. Seven, 45. Yeah, it went down. 46. Just might as well keep pushing it. 47. A 48 mile an hour. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got it. 48 mile an hour. 
So about 48 mile an hour is going to be our top speed. Trimmed about a quarter of the way up. Remember to trim it back down as you turn. Let's go ahead and give it a hard turn as we accelerate. Ooh, this baby turns like a Mustang. Shelby Roush GT something badass. Let's push it again. Hit her hard. Boat really does run strong. It doesn't hit Miss Miss Butterfall on its face. I can't believe how quiet this Bimini top is. You know, we're running pretty hard. And it's not flapping or banging or getting loose. Runs nice and tight. Trimming up again. I know you can't feel that, but it takes off when the nose comes out of the water. You can see it on our speedo here as we get up. I'm just trimming it up nice and slow so I don't cavitate. But she's running right along. At 48 mile an hour. Now I'm going to slow up a little bit. We're going to talk about how the trim tabs work. So trim tabs. A lot of people get excited to have a boat with all these new systems. And it might, be, might, might not be new to you to have uh, trim tabs on your boat. So I always tell people when you're getting something new to you, <coughs> break it down. Don't touch the tilt and trim until you're used to how the boat feels, operates, and maneuvers while trimmed all the way down. Once you get used to that, you know, unless you're a trailer boater, you trim it up so you don't drag it on the ground. But once you get used to that, then you can play with your tilt and trim up and down. Once you get used to that, then you can play with the trim tabs. I want to teach you quickly how to operate trim, trim tabs though, because that's what we're doing, a video demonstration today. So, always pick something straight in front of you before you start messing with your trim tab buttons. If you're turning when you're trying to set your tabs, it's a, you know, a functional oxymoron. It will not work. Tabs are in the back of the boat. They're level levelers, and there's buttons right here. I'm going to show you, okay? So you can control one side or the other side. If you have too many people sitting on one side and it leans, hit the other side to level it off, vice versa. When the water is rough as all hell, we just put them both down at cruise speed around 30 miles an hour. Keeps that nose pushed down and plows through the rough waves. But for this purpose, let's talk about how they work. Spin the camera back around. Okay, see those condos, the white condos way up yonder. Hopefully you can see them. So I'm going to use that as my point of reference. So I'm going to get the boat on plane. This thing really does take off good with 496. So let's just run 30 mile an hour. Okay? I'm not going to touch the steering wheel at all. Other than getting it nice and straight. I got a point of reference. Let's go port side down. Whoa, Lord. See the indicators work and see how we're turning here. <laughs> Let's lift that back up. And again, not touching the wheel. <laughs> it's taking us to shore, bub. Okay, let's get around that pontoon before we play with the other side. Hey, the trim tabs are working good. <laughs> he got a kick out of that. All right, so there's the condos we're going to point straight at right up there, the white building. That rain is getting ready to come. So let's do starboard side. You ready? Not touching the wheel. Indicators work and look at how we are turning completely away from where we're going. Take it back up. So that's showing you how trim tabs work and showing you that they work. Remember, when you go to dock the boat, put those shrimp tabs all the way back up. If not, it'll feel like someone's holding the back of the boat and you won't be able to dock it very well. We're going to go put her back on the trailer, and then we'll do some conditional walkthrough of the inside outside and finish up with some drone footage. Thanks for watching. Stop the video. All right, now we're going to check out the condition of this bad boy. It's getting ready to storm. We're gonna go above the rub rail and the rub rail. Gel coat's in magnificent condition. There's where your shore power hooks up. There's your waist cap. Port side nav light. Pop in and out cleats. Gel coat is in exquisite condition. Let's strap down, check a look at that hole. I don't see any nicks on the chines or on the kill or the lifting strake. 
restricts. Gel coat's awesome. I did see two spots here where it looks like there was a repair at some point. Just two little spots right here, here, and here. And that's it. Hey, it's so shiny. Wave. <laughs> we answer this. It's Diane. So again, it's a 8.1 Volvo with F5 props. Props are in great shape. Drive cleaned up beautifully. Transom's great. Go above rubber rail. Sometimes the arches on this model's beat up all the hell, but this one's really nice too. So there's where something's been wet sanded out. Wet sanded, wet sanded, wet sanded. That's all I see there. The stem is in beautiful shape. It's got the stainless steel ball scuff plate. I didn't see anything at all in the color part of the gel coat to the starboard side. Maybe something here. Just some very, very light if you look really closely. So my camera looks foggy. It still looks foggy. Well, it doesn't look like that in person. But anyhow, drop down to the hull. It's all beautiful. Let's jump inside and take a look. All right, we're gonna do a quick conditional walkthrough since you got detailed. It looks beautiful, even though we got rained on. All your seams and stitching looks great. <laughs> Storage in your trunk. Flooring cleaned up beautiful. It's really like a phenomenal boat. Ran awesome. I really enjoyed myself driving it. Bridge is on. It's actually cold in here. Can you feel that? <laughs> Just kidding. That's a good song. So, oh boy, it's coming. Okay. Just looking at all the vinyl. No nicks, no tears, no split seams. Bad stitching, sunburn. Nothing silly like that. <laughs> There's only two things bad I can say. I can't figure out how to work the lights on the speaker rings. And it's got a newer head unit put into it, which is good. It sounds amazing. I mean, seriously amazing. It's crazy awesome. Problem is, these newer head units don't work with remotes, the M303, but it is Bluetooth, so you can control your phone, control the volume and everything with your phone. It's got lights and stuff, bow fillers, snap covers. Okay. Storage. See all your vinyls, awesome. Well, there she is. <laughs> sure hope you're happy with it. Um, I can't think of anything else to say. Just a beautiful boat, great model, runs great. Uh, we're going to check out some drone footage to finish this up, and I'll see you on the water. Remember, when you're done boating for the day, shut her off. Off, off, off. There you go. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Brandon Johnson, and this is Used Boat TV. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brandon Johnson, and this is Used Boat TV. Today, I'm going to take you for a ride before the storm comes in. <coughs> hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Brandon Johnson from Used Boat TV. Today, I'm going to take you for... Oh, I'm going to turn this around. <laughs> Are you sure it's a big boat, Braden? Oh. All right. 